Hello friends, this is my second video on main air compressors which are used on ships. In this video, I am going to tell you about basic components of air compressors. As you can see from diagram, I list down basic components which are there in the air compressors. That is a suction filter, cylinder head, safety wall for the first stage, cooler cover, drain separator for the first stage, air temperature switch, pressure switch, drain wall, side cover, auto drain trap, drain wall, water safety wall, instrumentation panel, breathing cap, cooling water inlet wall, cooling water pump, magnetic wall, oil level gauge, oil screen, oil element, oil drain plug, oil safety wall, oil release wall, Then we have water checker, then safety wall for the second stage, delivery pipe, wall flange for the second stage, then we have cooler cover, drain wall, motor, and slide cover, then flywheel cover. Out of all these components, I'll tell you about uh, about few a few of them in this video. Before that, let me tell you about the flow diagram which is there for the compressor so the blue line represents the cooling water circuit the blue line passes through uh, after cooler then series with intercooler and it is uh, uh, in between it has many components like uh, cooling air co cooling water pump which is mostly used on emergency air compressors then we have cooling water shut off wall uh, which acts when compressor is not working then we have cooling water pressure gauge then we have water safety wall then uh, water checker that uh, tells us uh, whether water is flowing during running condition then we have this green line which represents the air flow that is the air takes suction from the filter and goes to the first stage compression then after that goes to intercooler from intercooler it goes to the second stage and from second stage it goes to the after cooler and from after cooler it goes to the oil separator and then to the main air receiver yellow line represents the cooling circuit the cooling or uh, the uh, low oil circuit low oil pumps take suction from the crankcase and it supplies to the bearing uh, there are many safety devices which are incorporated in the circuit that I'll tell you later in the video so now let's start with the components so the first component is air filter the material used for the air filter is uh, felt or paper metal gauge nylon strands these air filter remove contaminants to prevent abrasive wear of the piston ring and the walls deposit on the walls wall casing for the source of ignition if filter is very dirty it will cause reduction in suction pressure increase in compression ratio increase in discharge temperature less air flow and uh, danger of overheating coke deposit in extreme cases discharge temperature may exceed auto ignition temperature of the lube oil resulting in an explosion second component is a piston trunk type piston is used for the single acting compressors tandem piston is used in multi-stage compact design the circuit diagram which we have discussed before has tandem piston they are mostly made up of aluminium alloy uh, they have good frictional properties high strength with low coefficient of thermal expansion piston ring material is alloyed cast iron high piston rings are made thicker then then we have bearing and crankshaft bearing are mostly thin shell type in modern compressors and the lower pressure required is 2 bar 
for the thick will th thick shell bearings the lower pressure is required 1 bar only then we have crankshaft usually forged you they, they are made from forged carbon steel <coughs> integral with counterweights then we have suction and discharge valve valves of the air compressors are plate type and concentric rings main advantage is good air flow characteristic for low lift of the wall plate low inertia of the moving parts limited impact loading by use of buffer plates if discharge valve is leaking it will result in air flow back into the cylinder on the suction stroke resulting in reduced efficiency and high operating temperatures if suction all is leaking it will result in air returning to the suction space during the compression stroke resulting in reduced air delivery increase in running time if second stage suction all is leaking this will cause high pressure in the intercooler the compression will virtually run unloaded if the suction wall leaking <coughs> leakage is extreme sorry material used for the construction of the walls are 0.14% carbon steel with hardened seat area but in some books it will say 0.4% carbon steel wall plate is made from chromium nickel molybdenum alloy steel and uh, plate spring is uh, made from spring plates sorry spring steel then we have intercooler and aftercooler the purpose of intercooler is to reduce the temperature of the air discharge from the first stage back to the same temperature as the first stage suction that is to bring uh, the, that is to make the compression pressure isothermal aftercooler has no effect on the performance of the compressor it cools the air before it lead to the air receiver thus helping to remove moisture in the air the type usually fitted is a multi tube cooler air passes through the loo through the tubes on uh, two passes the cooling water being directed through the cooler via baffles to allow for the expansion of the cooler the temperature uh, as the temperature increase one end of the cooler is fixed and the other end is allowed to expand sealing is achieved by using seal rings a drain cork is provided on the cooler to allow any moisture to be drained off then uh, i'll tell you about safety devices which are incorporated in the compressors for safe operation that is safety valves on both the stages bursting disc or the relief valve on the intercooler and aftercooler fusible plug on after cooler air side high temperature air cut out low oil pressure low cut out non return valve in the delivery line and discharge unloader safety valve safety valves are fitted to the first and the second stage outlet they are spring loaded simple safety valves and must be such a size that the compressor discharge valve is assured the pressure accumulate shan will not exceed 10% of the maximum working pressure if a low pressure relief valve lifts the cause could be blockage between low pressure and the high pressure jammed or broken high pressure suction valve if high pressure relief valve lifts the cause could be over pressure of receiver or valve shut between the compressor and the receiver then uh, bursting disc for the intercooler after cooler or the relief valve bursting disc or the relief valve on the water space is provided so that in the event of failure of air cooler any excess pressure is relieved so that there is no damage caused to the casing of the compressor in case of bursting disc the disc is uh, made from material such as copper brass or rubber sheet it is designed to burst at a predetermined safe pressure with therefore preventing any damage to the compressor and the personnel if at any time the disc has to renewed it must only be replaced with the one same material and thickness as the original supplied by the manufacturer 
then we have high temperature cutout the compressors are designed so that the temperature of the air discharged to the starting air receiver does not exceed 93 degrees celsius in service a small fusible plug or an alarm device operating at 121 degrees celsius is provided to give warning of the excessive air temperature any reduction of air flow through the air filter will result in a high pressure drop across the filter which will cause a high delivery air temperature the flash point of the lubricate lubricating oil is around 210 degrees celsius and auto ignition temperature is 380 degrees celsius thus by restricting the suction filter the discharge temperature can reach a dangerous level in that combustion of the lubricating oil in the system can occur that can lead to crankcase explosion excessive temperature can also be caused by lack of cooling dirty intercooler and leaky valves then we have auto drain trap uh, this provides to drain off water and oil automatically from the compressed air system water must be drained at each state to prevent removal of oil film from the cylinder wall assisting wear of the liner and the piston ring corrosion to form iron oxide assisting uh, degradation of the oil this requires a regular inspection then we have non return valve just after just before uh, just after the compressor non return valve in the delivery line its main function is air once delivered does not return back to the compressor in case a low pressure develops in the compressor side then we have unloader that prevents compressor to start on load some of the methods to unload the compressor are throttling of the suction speed variation bypass discharge to suction depression to hold the suction plate on their seats fitted on each stage suction wall actuated by solenoid or pilot air then we have high pressure cutout that is uh, that that gets operated Uh, at the desired receiver receiver pressure so this is the second video on main air compressor so if you have any doubt you can comment down and if you need any other video regarding any machinery which are on board ships you can tell me i'll try to make a video on that thank you